So in this video, I'm going to show you how to start a junk hauling business. A junk hauling business is not the same as a box truck business, obviously, but it's a lot. Uh, it costs a lot less to start, and this enables you to stay home. You don't have to go out on the road weeks at a time, and you can easily make a few thousand dollars a week with this. This is uh, one of my favorite business models. This is something I was going to do a couple of years ago, and then when the pandemic hit, you know, my plans changed and adjusted, but you know this is still something that uh anybody can do it doesn't cost a lot you know you don't have to buy a seventy thousand or forty thousand dollar box truck to get started this you can start if you have a pickup truck you already have half of the of the uh equipment that you need the other half you can buy it used i mean it's real cheap to get into this and this is real profitable i'm going to show you how to set this up how to get the equipment you need and i'm going to show you a lot of ways to get customers and to stay busy i mean this is like one of the best business models that i know as far as starting a business um as you can see i'm on, on google uh google dump trailer near you and it's going to come up with dealerships uh that sell uh you know they sell like tractor equipment they sell uh you know dump trailers they sell regular trailers goosenecks stuff like that but if you wanted to start use you can just go to craigslist and then just try to find trailers and there's going to be a ton of trailers just regular trailers i'm going to show you what they look like um and they are uh something you can start out with you know if you can afford a uh a, a dump trailer they're like five grand you know which is not a lot as far as you know a startup for a business but you can use a regular trailer you just have to modify it a little bit um as you can see here there's some trailers here that you can buy used uh, this one's uh, right here. Let me show you this one. I mean, this is ugly. Uh, this is uh, but this is probably what the guy was using it for. He wants eighteen hundred for this. That's a little bit nuts. I mean, he's crazy. It has two axles. You know, the more axles, the more weight you can pull. But this is basically what it is. What you can do is build the sides up. You have to build the sides up with a wall if you're going to use it for dump. Because I'm going to show you here. Uh, you can buy one of these for like less than a thousand. I mean, Craigslist is always a uh, a bad place to find things because people like to sell their junk they think they you know they call it they think they call it vintage or whatever but you know they try to overprice their stuff but here's one here uh it's got a good deck but something like this you would have to build the wall like the one i just showed you you take some plywood and in my opinion i would do it for three three feet because the more room you have the more higher your walls are the more you'll be able to haul without having to uh go and uh you know go back to the site and then pick up more so the thing with this is it's cheap this one he's selling it for 1400 you could probably talk him to a thousand you know something like that or maybe even find them cheaper uh these are, are are good to start with but the problem with these are you know they're limited on weight i don't know the exact weight i have one i use for uh for my atvs or not my atvs my four by fours and they probably hold i think maybe two thousand pounds or something like that but that's still a lot you know that you can haul plus that you have to build them up but if they if you had to start this way this would still be a good way a lot of people in the junk removal actually start out this way and then you could just buy a uh, better uh equipment as you go and for something like this you don't even need a pickup truck you can haul this with an suv uh, a big suv you know not the little tiny suvs those crossovers but you can start out this way so we're going to go to google this is what i would recommend is a regular dump trailer these are not that expensive you know compared to a box truck uh, as you can see here there's one for five thousand dollars so we're going to go to the website to show you exactly what this is and these have a hydraulic so instead of going by hand when you go to the dump to dump out all the stuff you can just hit a button and this thing's going to raise up and it already has walls um i would recommend you know build up the walls even higher because you know these this one i don't know how much it is but it looks like maybe a couple feet three feet at the most and this is a smaller one this is something you can start with uh for five grand and you can haul stuff with this and it's like i said it's hydraulic you go to the dump and you just hit the hydraulic thing and you're off to the next job but like i said this one's a little bit uh limited in size so we're gonna look for another one this is a five by eight uh if you can spend a little bit more money get something bigger like this and it's not even that much more this is a six by twelve six foot uh wide and twelve foot long now this is something you can really do some some damage with this is about it's only eight thousand four hundred dollars so compared to a box truck it's pretty small 
it's hydraulic uh it's got double tandem so it probably can haul maybe about five thousand pounds or something uh the walls are a little short like the walls you can see here they're about two two feet but you can build these walls up put by just by putting wood around this to build it even higher so if you can start out with something like this this would be like the the best thing you can do because it makes the job easier you don't have to unload it all the time and you know it's metal it's it's heavy duty and you need a box you don't, you don't need a box you need a regular truck a pickup truck you don't have to have a new truck you can just use your regular truck to haul these things back and forth through the city so now i'm going to show you where you can dump the stuff at so we're going to go we're going to go to go to google and then you're going to google refuse near me all right so here's the thing about refuse uh Refuse are dumping sites. These are dumping sites near you. So we're going to go to more businesses. And what they do is they charge a fee for per ton of garbage. I mean, you can just dump something that, that, you know, they might charge you 20 bucks for. And you do a job for like $200 and, you know, you're making $180 profit. Now, I recommend you call all of these. As you can see here, these are all, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. So this is considered Northeast Ohio. So, you know, you just can't call one because let's say you have a job over here. You're not going to come to a, a, a dump here and then come back or, or work your array around. You want to call all these dump sites, get their rates. I mean, it's real dirt cheap, man. You can do a big job uh, of drywall, you know, come back three or four times, you know, pay like $100, you know, pocket $1,000 uh, for, for dumping all this stuff. And you have to find out exactly what you can dump. Some of these places won't take chemicals, uh, you know, chemicals or paint. Paint is a chemical. Uh, most of them probably won't even take tires. So that's another thing. So when you, you do your business, uh, you have to ask, you have to let the customers know, I can't, I'm not going to pick up paint. I'm not going to pick up tires or anything that's toxic or anything that's explosive. But, you know, if you call all these places and, and take a spreadsheet, write all the numbers down and write the price, they're going to give you a price per ton. And, and find out exactly what you can haul some places they might not let you take uh, a wood you know like down trees and, and logs and stuff like that so in some places might not let you take drywall but you know call them all and mark them everywhere where they're at so that way when you're going across town you don't have to go across town to empty out a truck you can just do it to the nearest one and then move to the next job so what you got to google is refuse near me you know usually call it garbage but it's it's, it's called refuse you know what I'm saying and and these are dump sites. You know what I'm saying? This is not the regular garbage that we put out on the on the curve. So once you get a call and you make a list of all these, once you get your price in, make sure you put the number. What I use is a spreadsheet. I put the name of the refuse, the location, the price, and the phone number. And that's it. So once you do that, you're good to go as far as dumping. Now to get customers, uh, let me go back to, to Craigslist. To get customers is not that hard. And I'm going to show you, this is a booming business. This is something that a lot of people do. So we're going to go back to uh, the homepage of Craigslist and we're going to go junk removal and services. And you're going to see a whole bunch of, uh, of junk removal services already, already going on. You know what I'm saying? All these are junk removal services. So this is where you're going to post one of your ads, you know, you're going to be competing with these guys, but I'm going to show you other ways that you can make money without having to compete with anybody. As you can see here, they take couches, they take all kinds of stuff. They have the number here. Uh, and this is where you would put your first ad. I would recommend getting a website, but like, I, I don't think most of you guys know how to build one. I said I was going to do one and I will, when I get a chance, I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to show you how to do it. And I still haven't come up with an idea for that, but you know, here's where you're going to put your first uh, ad. Another place you're going to go is the Facebook marketplace. And we're going to go junk removal service. And it's going to come up a lot. There you go. So here's a, a bunch of other junk removals in your area. This is uh, targeted by your area. As you can see, everybody's removing junk, any junk. You can charge, look, for a pile like this, you know, for, for people when they're working in the yard. He's charging $300 or $233, you know, for a little brush, brush remove right here. Uh, uh, a lawnmower. I just took a lawnmower. I think it was last year. It was sitting in my thing. It broke down and I took it. I was ready to pay the, 
the the metal company just to take it off my hands. And when I got there, he gave me like 35 bucks, man. I felt like I hit the lottery. I'm like, dude, I was going to pay you to take this. And I know, like, you know, we scrap metal. So you can scrap. There's a lot of this stuff that you pick, you can scrap. Some people throw away good stuff, but, you know, you just have to keep an eye out for it. But look at this, $150 for just for a little bit of garbage. You'll see these right here. It says 98, you know, but that's like the bottom rate. Before you quote a job, you always going to want to tell the customer to send you a picture of the debris that they're trying to remove. Always send it. Don't even go anywhere until they send you that picture. And then you can give them a quote on the phone. Okay. It's going to be all kinds of garbage. You know, people clean out their garages, their sheds. They clean out their basement. You know, people do projects, you know, bathrooms, knock out a room, uh, drywall, just a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to, you know, yard waste. There's just so much stuff that you're going to want to see it first. You see here, this is a, a, a whirlpool. This is just regular garbage. This is a uh, wood. It looks like it's got wood, milk. It just, it's junk. It's just, it just comes in different forms. So you want to see what it is first and then you can quote from there. This guy's selling his service for $98. You know, he's got a little bit of garbage here to show what, you know, $98 would be, but that's like his starting point. You know what I'm saying? Once you see what they're actually want you to haul away, then you can quote them a price. You can quote them whatever you want, man. Whatever you're willing to work with, uh, you can quote them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can use pretty much anything to haul with. I mean, this guy's right here is hauling in his pickup truck. And this guy's hauling in his pickup truck. You know what I'm saying? They're charging a hundred dollars, he's charging fifty bucks to to you know fill up the back of his of his pickup truck. He'll go dump it make some money and probably go out and, and have some beers for the rest of the night. I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing this because it's small. You know, you're limited to the bed and you don't want to mess up your car. This guy has a dump trailer. As you can see, the walls are built up. Uh, the higher you, the more room you have, the more you're going to be able to haul. Um, you can do one job, fill up a quarter of the, of the, of the trailer and then go to the next job and the next job. And before you even have to go to the, to the, the dump site. Okay. Or you can do a really big job, charge five, six, seven hundred dollars, fill the whole thing up, and then go to the dump site. I mean, the bigger you have, the more room you have, the better it's going to be. Um, as you can see, everybody's doing this. Everybody and their mother's doing this. This is a great way to make money, but I'm going to show you how to do it differently. This is what everybody's doing. They go to Craigslist. They go to Facebook Marketplace, and they're going to get some business, but you're going to have to separate yourself. If you want to grow your business and become bigger you're going to have to separate yourself as far as getting the clients and that's what i'm going to show you right now so i'm going to go to google and you're going to google realtors okay you're going to get the realtors in your area and call them all man one thing about realtors is you know people think oh a guy just shows up sells the house you know he gets his commission and, it, and it's all this and that no realtors go and they have to clean up these places a lot of people as human beings we tend to leave stuff behind. Even if we don't trash the place, we'll leave like dressers behind, an old refrigerator, an old futon, or old couch behind. And the realtors come in before they even can even sell the houses. They have to clean all that up. And they're not going to do the cleaning. What they do is they call somebody uh, junk removal that they have to come do this. So what you do is you Google realtors in your area and you're going to scroll down here and you're going to click more businesses. Because Google tailors the results to your area. And this is my area here by uh, Cleveland. So as you can see, these are all realtors and they all have websites with phone numbers. Every single one of them. Well, not, well, mostly all of them will. Okay, you scroll down and there's there's pages and pages. This is page 10 and it's still, look, real estate agent, real estate agents. So all you have to do is click the website to get their phone number. And you call them, you say, hey, I have a, a junk removal business. You know, we have great prices. Uh, we come in, we, we just clean everything up, we'll haul everything away. Uh, and you know, by the time you, you even reach the house to go show the house, everything will be removed. And and people leave, it's not only inside the house, people leave junk in the yard. There's bricks, there's, there's wood, there's fallen trees. There's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be hauled. And the realtor is the best way to get that guaranteed money because they, they have hundreds of houses that they show every month. You know, that's just one realtor. So you're gonna call as many realtors as you can and you're going to call garbage for them. I mean, you still have to go in there and do the actual cleaning. I mean, this is not like cleaning a, a carpet or cleaning a house bed or anything. You have to clean up the debris. A lot of these houses, people leave them in, in rough shape, you know, but 
a lot of times people just leave junk, you know, they might leave a dresser that might be good for you, you take it to the house, but you know, you go in and you clean it up, man. Realtors, realtors are gonna give you the most business and it's gonna separate you from the Craigslist and the marketplace because you're dealing with realtors. They're gonna call you every time they need you, every time they need to clean a house because they have to clean it. You know, they have to clean it. People leave a lot of stuff behind. And I'm gonna show you another way to get more clients that's gonna separate you and that's apartments. So you're gonna look for apartments. You're gonna Google apartments in uh, in your area, apartments for rent. And this is gonna show you buildings of, of apartments. You know, the apartments here in Ohio, I don't know where it's at everywhere, but apartments, what they are, they're usually like about a whole bunch of apartments in one building, and then there's another building and another building. They're, 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 in, and they're called developments. And there's just a ton of apartments. You're gonna call the manager, uh, call the, what do you call those guys that, that stay around? The, the apartment managers, you know, usually there's an office, you know, you can walk into these spaces. I would call because there's just so many of them. Call them, get the number of the landlord, the, the maintenance people, and then you tell them, look, I have this a haul business, this junk business. Uh, if you guys need anything, you know, haul, clean up apartments when people move out. People move in and out all the time. And the thing about apartments, you know, when people are renter, renters can be pretty nasty. You know, they'll leave a, a big mess behind. Like I said, they'll leave dressers, couches, just beds, box springs, just a whole bunch of junk. And you just come in there and scoop all this up, clean it up, and you have a, a steady a steady uh, source of work. Because they always, people, like I said, people are always moving out. There's buildings everywhere. You just call them all, man. Take a few days, call all these realtors, call all these, uh, these apartment buildings. And even if you know landlords in your neighborhood that rent, landlords usually when they have uh, rental properties, they have a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? They have a lot of them. That's how they make their income by renting out. You say, look, we come in, we'll clean it all out. You know, we'll clean it all out. And, and just, you know, this is going to separate you from the others because this is a great way to get business because they're going to call you. And another thing that I recommend you do uh, that everybody does that's going to separate you because when it comes to junk, junk hauling, people, it's a, it's a reference business. It's a reference kind of business. People refer uh, their neighbors, refer their family to you. You know what I'm saying? They might be visiting and say, hey, you know, look at all that mess. You know, I know somebody that'll haul it for you, but I'm going to show you uh, how you can get these people to keep calling you. Okay, so you're going to go to uprinting.com. Okay, and you're going to print out business magnets, not no uh, business card, but business man magnets that they, they people put on their fridge. Okay, um, I don't know if you do that, but I do this. What I do is on my fridge, I, I have a septic system where you know the toilets and all the, the sinks empty out. So I have a, uh, a magnet for my septic. I have a magnet for my uh, plowing in the winter. I have a long driveway and I have a magnet that plows and and then I think that's it. But you know, this is something that you will want on your fridge. You, you get these magnets, there's a thousand magnets for $90. That's like nine cents a piece it says there, nine cents a piece. What people do, you do a good job, you haul the stuff away, you say, hey, here's my magnet, if you ever need me again, give me a call, refer a friend, I give you 10% off, and they're gonna put this magnet on the fridge, and every time they do a spring cleaning, or clean out the garage, the shed, or a project, clean out the attic, they're gonna call you, because you did a good job the first time, and that number's always gonna be on the fridge, okay? This is one of those type of services where you call the same person. You know what I'm saying? When I need somebody to, to come, uh, do my uh, my driveway, I go to my fridge and I call the same people. When I need to clean out my septic tank every year, I call the same people. I got the magnet right on my uh, on my fridge. Just like pizza, there's pizza shops too that, that, that does that. You know, you have a magnet there, when you need pizza, you call them. So this is that kind of service where you can get people to call you back and they refer people. They refer their neighbors, their family, their friends, say, yo, these guys did a great job. You know, it was it's very cheap. You know, they come in, they, they take the stuff away, and I you never see it again. You know what I'm saying? They'll take it to the dump, and this is a great way to get that, that referral business is to get these magnets. So you do this when you do every job, and they're cheap. I mean, nine cents for a magnet that's going to be on the fridge, you know, for who knows how long, for years. And every time they need something, you know, when it comes to junk hauling, they're going to call you, okay? They're going to walk by that fridge, or they're going to say, hey, you know, it's going to remind them like, yeah, you, you know, we have all this, you know, junk in the basement. Well, we're going to clean this out. You know what I'm saying? So people, when people see this, they're, you know, they're going to keep you in mind, man. So this is a great way to, to get that referral business. Okay. I'm going to shut this video down because it's, it's kind of long.
Um, I'd love to get in more details with this because I, I love to get into details. You guys know this, but I showed you everything you need to start the business. I showed you where to find business. And then I even showed you a better place to find a uh, real business, you know, which is the realtors and the apartments and the landlords. That's where you're going to get most of your, your, your projects. You're going to have people calling you. And once you do a job, uh, do the magnet thing. Like I said, use the magnets because they're always going to call you. If you do a business card, they'll throw that business card out. They'll put it on top of some and it's going to end up in the garbage. But when you do the magnet thing, they're always going to use you. People have a habit of using one service. And this is a, a service that they can use just like landscaping service, just like uh, plowing, you know, the, the snow plowing, snow removal service. Everybody has that one service they want to use. And you want to get these magnets. They're cheap. They're like 90 bucks for a thousand of them. You know, way better than a business card. And set this up like a regular business. Get your EIN, your LLC separated from your income and separate the, the business bank account. Get a business bank account. Come up with a nice name. Don't get too technical with it. You don't have to have, you know, uh, you know, five or six names or, or words in the thing. Just make it simple. Uh, try to come up with something nice and treat it like a business because it's a business. It's an easy business to get into it. That's why a lot of people do it. And it doesn't take a lot of uh, capital to do it. So this is the best way that I can explain to you how to do this. So if this is something you want to do, I won't do it because I'm lazy. Uh, I was going to get into it before and I can't get into it now because now my time is limited. You know, I can't, you know, I don't want to spend the whole day hauling uh, garbage back and forth from the dump. But if this is something you want to do, you can't go over the road in a box truck. You know, this is an easy business to start. It's not landscaping. Landscaping is another easy company to get into, but the margins in landscaping is so low. You know what I'm saying? You people, you know, you're cutting yards for 30 bucks. This, you can do a few hundred per job and you can do this all day long as long as you get the business. So this is something you can do and treat it like a business, man. So I'm going to cut this off. I said I was going to cut it off five minutes ago. I'm going to cut it off now. You guys have a good one.